If you're watching this video, it's probably because you are having trouble getting your horse used to wearing and using a grazing muzzle. So this is Wells, and right here I am putting his muzzle on for not quite the first time. I'd put it on several times before. Um, but when I first introduced them, a great thing to do is go ahead and put a treat down in the muzzle basket for when you put it on. That's what I did here, and even though he's kind of fidgeting around a little bit, he was really good about me putting it on and has been for a while. So the next thing you wanna make sure is that they know how to drink out of it, and which he did, but right here you can see he's kind of agitated and he can't quite figure out what to do or how to get food. And so I'm kind of letting him figure it out, but then also I just bring some grass so he can try to eat through the muzzle. And then here I'm actually conditioning him to use the muzzle. So I'm using hay pellets and I'm holding them in my hand and kind of pushing them through the muzzle holes. And each time I get a little bit lower and lower to the ground. And I also start kind of cupping my hand so that he has to press down into my hand in order to get the hay pellets. And you can use whatever feed or treats you want that um, are safe for your horse to have. And as I'm working my hand closer and closer to the ground, I also start picking a little grass and mixing that in. So he kind of has to eat the grass and bite the grass through the slats of the muzzle. And this is just part of the learning process of how they learn how to do it. So there I picked a little grass and I, I'm not sure if I'm doing it here in this video, but at one point I actually picked some longer strands and held them um, in my hand for him so he had to actually bite um, and kind of rip the grass from my hand. And there he actually, I think, took a bite of grass or two from the actual ground and not from my hand. So I'm kind of tricking him. And this process took about five days for him. I hadn't seen a horse that was um, as frustrated with the muzzle as, um, as him um, with horses that I've either owned or worked with. And so it was a little bit of a challenge for me to get him used to it. So I did this process that you're watching right here. I did it about probably five days in a row. And if you have an old muzzle, something else that you could try is actually making the holes a little bit bigger and um, so it wasn't as hard to get grass through. I also right here, I have him down in grass that is a little bit taller than some of our other areas and that's a really good thing to start. So here he is eating by himself but you can tell he's still just a little frustrated. I think part of it is he doesn't like it touching his face. And so that's just something that they'll have to get used to. So after I did the process of feeding him and lowering my hand to the ground, I would just turn him out in this smaller paddock where I could kind of keep an eye on him and watch him for about 10 to 20 minutes just so he could kind of practice. And then overnight I would turn him out without it. But here you can see he's starting to kind of get the idea. He'll take a little bite, toss his head, take another bite, toss his head. And you can see he's kind of pawing at the ground. He's still just a little frustrated. This is, I think, day two of our muzzle journey. So the more we did this process, the better he got, the less he tossed his head, the less he pawed at the ground. And so it's just something you need to be a little persistent about in the beginning. And you want to start ideally before you actually need them to be muzzled for longer periods of time unattended. So again, here's just, this is me feeding him through the muzzle or luring his head to the ground. He didn't actually eat the grass I picked for him. He was starting to eat some of the longer grass. And if you can find a spot that has really nice long grass to start, that's a really great, um, that's a great place to start. So here he's getting a little better, just a little better every day, a little bit less frustrated. We just repeated this process every day for about five days and here you can see he's 
happily grazing by himself. This was the fifth day. And then the next day I was actually able to turn him out with his brother um, with his muzzle on. And now he's been wearing it 24 seven happily for a couple days. So I hope this was helpful. Reach out if you have any questions to our customer service. We are here to help. Um, we have tons of experience with this kind of thing and we want you and your horse to be successful.